Hi, it's Nick James here, and welcome to this video screencast tutorial for nickjames.com. Uh, a lot of people from nickjames.com have been asking me recently about how I put together this little demo video um, on Information Marketing Vault, which is a demo site that shows you all about my autopilot cash flow software. And as you can see, this video is coming from YouTube and it's showing people how they can put together an offer with a free plus shipping product, how to offer some upsells, etc. using this uh, presentation display um, that's going on on the video in front of you. It's only a short video, about 30 seconds long, but I wanted to show you how I made this video. I made it completely free. And the service that I used to do that was Prezi and you spell that P-R-E-Z-I dot com and I used a free account to do this uh, in fact this is the the same video or, or the same presentation that I used I've got a play button in the middle and every time I click the play button it goes to the next part of the presentation So let me show you how I made that I'll just click on edit I'll come back to some of the other features in just a second but what I want to do is just load this up and show you how to uh, how to use some of the basics so and you can come back and you can watch this um, this Prezi that shows you as well when you create your account okay what we're going to do in this particular presentation is show you how to insert pictures text and create paths in your presentations and then um, hopefully this will encourage you to start using Prezi as an alternative to Microsoft PowerPoint as you can see we're on the screen at the moment and we've got some text written here um, if I just hit the home button it will zoom out a little bit for you and you can magnify in and out using these buttons here over here on the right to show you the path that um, is being programmed into this particular template for Prezi I'm just going to go and click on this menu area over here on the right uh, sorry on the left and click on path and this will draw a line from where the video starts through the timeline you know sort of where to the video ends on this map over here and if you wanted to add um, uh, maybe a, a sort of a, a trip over here towards, towards this coffee cup, um, then you would just click on the coffee cup and it will draw another um, line. Um, it then tells you that that's where it's going to end up down here, look. Uh, so if you wanted to delete that, that, that um, path, you could just click on the X. But we'll just pop it back in for a second. Um, and this is the path that the presentation will take. Let's say we wanted to add something new to our um, presentation what we could do is we could um, click on this little arrow to go back so we're not in path anymore but we go and select insert and this time we can insert an image or a YouTube video um, other files or whatever into our presentation so let's go and click on image and the first thing we can do is select an image from our computer or perhaps we can also go searching from Google images now if you wanted to do that you would just pop something um, for example as they su suggest white chocolate um, into the box and the other th important thing to note is this tick box here if you make sure this is ticked you will only see the results coming up from um, Google that have been pre-authorized for you to be able to use in um, your presentations okay so, so, there's, so there's that there for you the other thing you can do is you can select those files from your computer, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to select the um, the picture of the desert um, from the sample images folder of my computer. So a couple of things happens, it will upload, it will process, it will download it into your presentation. So you just have to wait for this um, sort of pie chart to, to finish uploading and downloading. Once it goes one way, uh, you'll notice that the um, please wait sign comes up and then it will just kind of go back the other way and it will download it into your presentation now the chances are um, it's going to be the wrong size it might be a little bit too big so you, firstly you can drag it around your screen um, if you find where you want to put it you just leave it there click away when you come back and click on it this little circular logo will pop up and what you can do then is around the outside you can click and drag to turn it around so you can make it um, you know, the, the, the right way around that you want to make it. The other thing you can do is you can click on this minus or plus sign in order to make the image bigger or smaller and it will jump to various sizes. The other thing you can do is you can click just to the to the side in this little circle here and you can click to drag it bigger 
and smaller as well so you've got the ability to do that that's how you add an image into Prezi. If you want to delete it, you can just press the delete key on your keyboard and it will remove it. Let's just click away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my paths and I'm just going to add a path from the coffee cup to the desert. And there we go. So now my presentation will finish on the desert. The other thing you can do as well is you can add text. Just on this background grid you can see behind, you can just find some white space. Click your mouse, uh, left click your mouse. Oh, sorry, let's go back um, to the main menu. Um, left click your mouse and then the cursor will, will appear. And you can just type away. Um, in this case, we'll just put in Hello World. And underneath, in this particular template, we've already got three styles um, selected. I'm just going to click on this first style, click OK. And rather like the uh, inserting an image, if you click on the word, you can then spin it round. and then you can make it bigger and smaller to your heart's content. Okay, so that's there. I'm just make it a bit bigger again. Brilliant. And just drag it over the picture. Go back to path and then we'll just click on the word there and that will be now the end of our presentation. To watch your presentation back, um, just go down here to the bottom right of the screen, click on show and then click on the arrow again and it will start your video for you. Each time you left click the mouse, it will go to a different area of the presentation. And you think you'll agree that the transitions and the way that Prezi work um, will capture your audience's imagination and interest um, in a completely different way. There we go, there's the coffee cup, the desert and the words hello world to finish things off. Uh, they'll capture your imagine the imagination and the interest of your audience in a completely different way to PowerPoint. To exit, um, just click on this navigation at the top. As soon as we click on exit, you can see that it's automatically saving your presentation. And finally, what I'm going to show you is um, how you can now um, turn that into a video. And what I used was the um, Camtasia program from TechSmith to actually video this area of the screen here when I was playing the video back. Um, so I just selected the area of the video and don't worry about this pop-up menu it will disappear when you move your mouse away from it if you look it'll just disappear in a second or two and then all I did was I, I recorded the screen and I clicked the next button by clicking this play button here and I could have done that over a soundtrack or what have you um, and that's how I created the movie because once the the moving image was in Camtasia I was then able to upload that to YouTube. And that was how I created my first Prezi. Now I've only created two. I'm still getting started with this, but I thoroughly encourage you, especially if you haven't got PowerPoint, maybe you've got a speech or a presentation um, coming up at work, um, or you want to put together some tutorial videos for your information publishing business to get started with Prezi. Get started for free uh, at prezi.com. I hope you've enjoyed this video. For more videos like these, visit nick-james.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.